So now she steps up. Let me show you. Come on, step up. Step up. Good girl. day to be alive and look who I have here this is Coco I want to give you an update today is our one <laughs> week mark that she is in our house and in my hands in my care so thank you for watching if you're new here please subscribe <laughs> to my channel I'm losing subscribers I don't know why I'm not growing either so thank you for tuning in and subscribing I really, really appreciate that I want to give you an update Remember how I got her if you watched the video on Monday? Mm -hmm. So you have this bird since over 20 years? That's true. Yes. 20 years. So he was a baby, baby when you got him? Yes, a baby. So you're the only owner? Yeah, I'm the only owner. So you got him as a baby? Yes. Did you handle him at all? Can he step up or can he? He never liked to step up. Never liked to step up? No. Oh, so, just, and she was just touching him and playing and suddenly and the owner says she won't step up and as soon as we got home she did step up okay guys hey look they told me she's super wild she's not tame and look she's already stepping up on my hand well i want to give you now an update how awesome she is and how happy i am to have her here so let's start from the beginning. When I got her, she wouldn't step up. Remember, the owner says they never handled her. She can't step up. They were bite. She was biting them. She was super aggressive. Yeah, and she was on a seat diet, really terrible seat diet, seat only. They gave me her packet of food and it was just seats, just seats, nothing else. She only got seats. I got also her cage. Her cage was way too small. I ended up giving her away her cage to somebody in need <laughs> and they love it. This was a cage for a little parakeet, not for a beautiful double yellow headed Amazon. So she got a brand yeah. new cage. You have a new cage. Look. New cage. What do you think? You like it? It's your new cage. Good. Here's food. Look. owner didn't socialize with her so they just look her through the cage on top of the cage and they never handle her so let me show you what I have done so far oops <laughs> did you just make poopy so first thing I did with her was when she got here I trimmed her nails her nails were super long they were like curved like inside like that I didn't do the video um, because I was too excited but um yeah, you can talk. She's quite a talker. But I clip her nails. Her beak was also super overgrown, a little long, so I dremeled down a little bit of her beak. Um, and that's it. That's basically it. Oh, yeah. And then I also DNA test her because I didn't get the result yet, but I think she's a female. DNA test. The next thing I did was I let her spend a lot of time with Destiny and Faith in the bird room. They immediately liked her. Okay. 
Okay, go eat. Bye. I love you. Bye. They um, got to like know her now from the after week. And yeah, they didn't attack her or bite her or chase her away. They were just really, really sweet birds. The next thing I did, I gave her a little shower. The first shower in 20 years. Hey, you. You want some shower? Here, shower. Shower time. Shower time. Shower time. Open your wings. Open your wings. Open your wings. Yeah. Open your wings. Enjoy the little shower. Enjoy the little shower. Oh, you're all wet now. Aren't you all wet? Oh, 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 oh. You're so cute. <laughs> For the first shower in her since over 20 years, I think. So I sprayed her down with a little bottle and her, her feet was really dirty, all sticky with poop and they are nice now. Okay. Yes, they are. Yeah, you're gorgeous. So now she steps up. Let me show you. Come on, step up. Step up. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> um, yeah, you did good. So she can step up now, and this is how I do it. You see, um, it's all in my book, guys. If you want to learn how to birch train and you have a scared bird like this, I know you want cracker. Um, get my book, angelicbirds.com. I have three lessons how you can train your bird to step up out of the cage into your hand, out of on top of the cage, and then from your cage to you. Step up, look how great she's doing. Good, good. And this is how I did it with a with a clicker. Guys, you step up, and then she gets a click. And she's so excited. Good. She has like full wings too. You're quite a talker. Okay, you want to try it again? Come on, step up. to say right so i stopped feeding her this all seat diet she gets now fresh food every morning together with my birds fresh vegetables fresh fruit fresh food she loves fresh food she's like eating like she never ate, ate before and in the evening i'm trying to like transition her away from the seat diet into a palate diet a palate diet is so much more nutritious and she gets all the minerals she needs to grow into an, a more beautiful bird. She's already beautiful, right? Comment uh -huh. below what you think. Yeah, you yeah. like your little cracker? Good! Good! <coughs> eat your cracker! Yeah, eat your cracker! Oh! Oh, you so cute! What I noticed, she tried to bite me and I was really afraid that she would bite me and she would like go after my hand. But then I realized like she was faking it. She didn't really want to bite me. Hey, When I say it's like, come here, step up, step up, step up. You see, now she step up without any problem. Good. Yes, you're doing good. Her name is Coco. I'm going to just add on and um, her name will be Coco Joy. So I'm not taking away her name. I'm just adding Joy because she's such a joyful bird. And I just feel like that. Oh, you want to go up in my head? Okay, okay. Hi. She's such a joyful bird that I feel like Coco doesn't do her justice. Is it better up there? Is it better up there? Yeah, yeah, okay. So with the step up, I, I, I felt she was faking it. So I was always afraid to get bitten because it hurts when she bites. 
but she never bit me actually <laughs> like except when i went into the cage to grab her in her house <laughs> Um, and bring her over here. So she was faking it and then I just didn't pull back anymore. I was like consistent. I was like, okay, come, step up, step up. And I pushed my hand against her belly and then she was like roaring like that. But then eventually she stepped up. She didn't have a lot of balance, but then she stepped up with first with one feet and then with two feet. And then I just gave her a lot of praise and I did the clicker. And yeah, come on, step up. <laughs> and then she got it something in her mind did click right you did click click and then you got it yeah you did you did you want to go perch over there okay go perch go perch over there hi good <laughs> She's such a happy bird. She's always singing and eating and having fun with us. Yeah, so I just hit the jackpot with her. Like, I'm just so happy that we got her. Um, I'm still waiting for the DNA test to come in to see if it's a girl or boy. I think it's a more like a girl because Destiny would show some aggression if it would be a male because of territorial. But with her, he didn't show any aggression. So I think she's definitely a female. I'm like 95% sure. Okay, guys, so I want to show you and read you a chapter out of my book, How to Train Your Parrot and More. This book is a valuable educator for all parrot owners. It's not just like um, to read how to free fly your parrot, but there's a lot of stuff in like parrot education, parrot behavior, uh, clicker training. All my knowledge that I know as a bird owner and a bird trainer is in here. And you are getting an education with this book. It's not just a book that you're gonna read. This is a whole education in bird and parrot training. You wanna go on your perch? Okay, go on your perch. Okay, so I'm gonna read you a chapter out of my book. I've never done this before, but I'm gonna read you a chapter about what is positive reinforcement. Um, page 63. 63. 63. Positive reinforcement. Come on, little Gogo. Come on, little Gogo. Let's read it together. Come on. So what is positive reinforcement? Positive reinforcement is catch them when they are good. What is positive reinforcement? Positive reinforcement involves the addition of a reinforcement, reinforcing stimulus following a behavior that makes it more likely that the behavior will occur again in the future. When a favorable outcome, event, or reward occurs after an action, that perfectly respond or behavior will be strengthened. My book is written in simple English so everybody can understand and train their bird. Let me rephrase in simple English what positive reinforcement really means. In other words, if your parrot does something really well, you praise it and focus on the good. If your parrot does something bad, you ignore it and leave the room. Positive reinforcement means catch them when they are good. So this is just a small little chapter from positive reinforcement. Um, you can read it and get it. There's so many stuff that you will learn out of my book. Um, confidence, harness training, GPS training, clicker training, poop on command, playing with your parrot, raising a baby parrot for free flight, characters, characteristic of a weanling, goals of what to teach a weanling. This is like an education. This is a one-of-a-kind book you can never ever get anywhere else. Nobody has wrote something like this before. This book is the first of its kind, so go grab it. It's on angelicparrots.com. For $36, you can get a whole parrot education, which is super cheap, and you don't need a face-to-face -face trainer if you want to free fly your bird. And it's not just for big birds or Amazons or medium birds, it's also for small little budgies. They are smart too. No matter if it's a small bird with a small brain or a big bird with a big brain birds are birds whatever bird you have you can teach them with my book how to free fly and even more that's why it's called how to train your parrot and more 
And guys, look, I can kiss her like a little hamburger. Look. Mm. Mm. Hamburger. She lets me kiss her. Hey, hamburger. Come on, hamburger. Hey, little hamburger. And I want to show you something else. Check this out. These are stickers I'm selling also online on my website, angelicparrots.com. And these are so awesome. Look at these are huge stickers. You can put it on your door. I have like over a hundred different species on my website. A hyacinth macaw, a scarlet macaw, blue and gold macaw, a um, yellow net Amazon macaw, cockatoos. Like there's so many, over 100 different species on my website. Whatever bird you need, budgies, ringnecks, parakeets, fixed macaw, everything is on there. And one of those stickers is super cheap, $12 only. $12, you can put it on your door, on your room, if you don't want anybody to come in. Beware uh -huh. God scarlet macaw on duty. This is so cool. So go get your sticker and yeah. combine it with a book and you are ready to go to start your <laughs> parrot training. What? Right? Right? Coco, what are you saying? What are you saying, Coco? Are you ready? Right? Yeah? I mean, in just one day, we did so much progress than in 20 years. So I'm just really, really happy to see how she's blooming, how she's happy, how she's developing, how she's smiling, how she's laughing, how she's talking. She's just such a beautiful bird, and I'm so happy to include her in my angelic parrot flock. <laughs> yeah. Turn around, turn around. Go. Oh, you want to step up now? Oh, hey, you see that, guys? She's now even like, like giving me her feet to step up. In the beginning, she didn't know that. That's what you will learn in my book. If you have a parrot that's really, really afraid, go get my book. Um, you are your own bird okay. trainer. You don't need anybody else. My book is a guide. I'm not your guru. It's just a guide for you to train your own bird. Okay, guys. So that's it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Go and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And check out my video. Check out my other videos. Check out um, also my website, angelicbarrets.com. And I'll see you next time. Hey, Coco Joy. Says bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.